These are some of the types of modern slim wallets that Extra has to offer, and these are very compact wallets that aim at reducing the bulk of traditional wallets while providing an efficient way of accessing your cards. Extra is having a 30% off Father's Day sale, and you can get an additional 5% on top of that by using my coupon code GHTECH at checkout or by clicking on the link in the description. This comes inside a slim all black box that has their logo at the center, and the unboxing experience is very simple and elegant. So all these wallets have a metal casing that holds your cards and it is made from a single piece of aluminum which can be seen more clearly on the aluminum car holder. There are no seams or screws holding it down which gives it a cleaner look. The aluminum car holder is forged from Space Gray 6061 T6 aluminum. It is incredibly tough and corrosion resistant making this a very durable wallet. The one thing that makes these wallets so great is the patent trigger mechanism that quickly fans out your cards. The trigger is thin and made from plastic and it has proven to be very durable over the years. As long as you don't constantly drop it on pavement with the trigger landing head on, this should be fine. They do offer a wallet that uses a metal trigger that is more robust and should theoretically last longer than a plastic one, but it is more expensive. And this will be found on their most premium wallet, the 18 karat gold plated aluminum car holder. So the trigger button on the aluminum wallet is much slimmer to help it keep a low profile compared to the parliament wallet. Now both are easy to press and there's just something very satisfying about having your cars instantly and neatly fan out. So you might find yourself fiddling with this on the first few days. So both of these wallets can hold up to 6 non-embossed cards and about 4 to 5 embossed cards depending on the thickness of them. Although the top is open, for the past couple of years I have not had any of my cards fall out, there is some rubber in the inside of the left side of the casing that provides enough friction to keep the cards from falling out. Even with only 2 or 3 cards, those cards manage to stay in place and you can see here with the quick shake test that they don't fall out unless you really want them to and you give it a really really hard shake. Now this is where you want to keep your most frequently used cards since you can access them quickly. The card in the very back is the quickest one to get out so this is a great spot to keep that one card that you use every day. The card at the very front is also very simple and fast to get out so this is where I keep my second most used card. The cards in the middle are also very quick to access but not as quick as the card in the back or the one in the front. I usually just pull out the stack with the card that I want at the very front of the stack and then I push up on the front of the card with my thumb. This wallet has definitely made going through checkout much faster since I don't need to dig through my wallet to find the card that I need, they are all there at an instant. Now the difference between the parliament and the car holder is that the car holder is not wrapped in leather, making it the slimmest wallet that they offer and my personal favorite wallet because of how compact it is without sacrificing storage. So the aluminum wallet can carry a little over 12 cards, 6 in the main compartment and you can store an additional 6 cards in the back that is held in place with the back plate. Plus you can put about 2 more cards in the front here. If you do end up putting a lot of cards in the back here, you won't have much room for cash at the front. It will be very tight. I like to keep no more than 4 cards in the back plate which allows me to comfortably slide 6 bills in the front without struggling. So I keep my license and my Best Buy card back here since these are the cards that I use less often. Now what sets these 3 parliament wallets apart is the leather that they are using. The original parliament wallet uses top green leather that looks and feels great. You can pick it up in 11 different colors including this new exclusive Father Day milled black that has a nice texture on the leather. It's the only one with the texture look. The Vachetta Parliament wallet, as the name implies, is using Italian Vachetta leather that is a step up from the leather found on the original Parliament wallet and you can pick this up in 4 different colors. Now this is their flagship leather wallet, the Fortuna Parliament wallet. It is hand stitched with full green American hide and treated with wax that gives it a nice subtle shine. They offer this in 3 different colors, there's blackwood, oak and chestnut. The one that I have here is the oak one and it looks amazing. I really like the golden logo accent on this, it gives it a nice subtle pop. The parliament wallet can hold a total of 12 cards. Inside the flap there are 2 slots for cards where you could technically put 2 in each slot. Then there's an elastic cash band that will hold your cash but you can also just put cards in here. It has some rubber dots in the inside that creates friction that keeps the cash from sliding out and it does a great job. Now depending on what color you get for the aluminum wallet you might get the fabric elastic band or the silicone one which gives it a much tighter hold but you will always get the elastic cash band with the current parliament wallets. Now on the back here there's a dedicated sleeve for the tracker but if you didn't buy the tracker you can also use this to store cash or 2 more credit cards. For the past few years I've been getting by with only carrying about 40 to 60 dollars in cash with me since most of the places I go to take debit or credit. Now if you live in a place where you need to carry a lot of cash with you then I would not recommend this type of wallet. These wallets are geared for minimalists who don't really carry cash with them and only carry a few cards with them. I try not to carry more than 6 bills inside the parliament wallet so that it doesn't get too bulky. As you can see here the flap doesn't close all the way when you have too many bills. And this is what it looks like with 2 cards in each pocket and with 10 bills. And now this is what it looks like with 1 card in each sleeve and only 4 bills. If this is your first time using one of these, you might constantly be checking your pockets thinking you forgot your wallet because of how slim they are. 
Now, if you also want something that is super lightweight, they also offer a carbon fiber aluminum card holder that looks awesome. So what makes these wallets smart is the solar tracker that is sold separately. This was designed to fit into any sleeve on the parliament wallet and you can also slip it into the back plate of the aluminum wallet or keep it in the front. Since you can buy this separately, you can essentially just buy it and put it into any other item that you like. The tracker is slightly smaller than a credit card and as thick as two credit cards. So you can pretty much put the tracker in any pocket in the parliament wallet, but the back pocket is the most suitable one because you can quickly access it. You can press the button without taking the tracker out. However, this will leave an annotation over time of the solar panel and the button, which I don't really like, so I simply just flip it over so it doesn't get indented. This connects to the Chipolo app, which you can download on Android and iOS. The tracker uses Bluetooth 4.0 and has a range of about 200 feet in an open area. Inside a house or a building, the range may be drastically reduced due to wall obstructions. Now, the tracker is very simple to set up. You simply tap on Add New Chipolo, then select the card, then firmly press on the button on the card until you hear chime. Once you hear it, it will automatically connect and you're set. So if you misplace your wallet, you can make the tracker ring from the app. There's only one preset volume, which is loud enough to be heard underneath a pile of clothes or if you accidentally dropped it on the side of the couch. A great thing about the tracker is that it is reversible and you can use it to find your phone by double pressing the button on the card. Once you find your phone, you can stop the ringing from the tracker by double pressing the button on the tracker. From the settings in the Chipolo app, you can enable the out of range alerts that sends a notification to your phone when your wallet is out of range. This way prevents you from leaving your home, a restaurant, or wherever you are without your wallet in the first place. Now, the best part about this tracker is that it connects to your virtual assistant, which allows you to ring your wallet through voice commands. This is compatible with Google Assistant, Alexa, and Siri. So once you link it up to your system, you can ask your assistant to ring your wallet hands-free. Find my wallet. This is incredibly helpful when you're in a hurry and don't have time to grab your phone, launch the app, and then ring it. The solar tracker has a battery life of about two months, depending on how much you use it. Once the battery gets low, you will get a notification on the app to remind you to recharge it. So this needs three hours of sunlight to fully recharge. You don't need to fully remove the tracker from your wallet. You can just have the top section with the solar panel stick out of your wallet to fully recharge it. If you are eating outdoors, you can rest your wallet on the table and let it charge up. So one of the downsides about these wallets is that since the inside of the wallet is metal and the cars slide past each other, the friction from those motion will start damaging your cards after one or two years. You will see multiple scratches on the surface of your card and the top clear layer may start peeling off on some of them. Now this is not a big issue for me since banks replace your credit cards every three to five years free of charge. Another issue that you may run to is that if you drop this in fine sand, then that sand can get lodged between the trigger and cause it to get stuck. I've had this happen to me once, but I got it unstuck by smacking the wallet and using air on a can to blow out the sand. Overall, these are some great wallet options for those of you who are looking to streamline your wallet and don't carry a ton of cash. I have been loving my aluminum card holder and this would make a great gift. If you're interested in picking one up, you can take advantage of the 30% sale that they are having for Father's Day and you can also use my discount code for an extra 5% on top of that. So the link and code will be below in the description. So that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Smash that like button if you found the video helpful and subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.